Welcome to Molto Buono, a channel where you can find easy, delicious and affordable recipes mainly from the Mediterranean cuisine. Today I'm going to show you how to wash the broccoli so you won't have any remains from dirt or pesticides and you will have them ready for cooking. My name is Kriste and while the intro goes make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel. Let's start it! In our society, broccoli has a reputation of a superfood. It contains a lot of nutrients, antioxidants, it improves your immune system, decreases inflammation and has many overall health benefits. Also they can be very delicious. If you want some ideas I can leave a link in the description below from my video stir fried broccoli with garlic. However, when we buy them they might have some dirt and they usually come with pesticides. So we need to clean the dirt and wash off the pesticides. In this video I'm gonna show you how. So first thing that we'll need to do is remove the, the flowers from the stem of the broccoli. So we take one knife and we cut the flowers and we put it in a bowl. We will focus on the flowers since we don't need to wash the stem. Now that we have them cut, the next thing that we want to do is wash them with cold water really quick. So, turn on the water, take the broccoli, just so we can remove the dirt. So, drain the water. And we add one teaspoon of baking soda. Now we turn on the water again. And we sink them into the mixture of water and baking soda. So I cover them with a plate, this way I make sure that the broccoli stay underwater and I leave them 10 to 15 minutes. During this 10-15 minutes the baking soda will work its magic and it will remove all the pesticides. Around 10 minutes have passed, so let's wash the broccoli and we are done. We remove the lid with cold water. Wash them one by one. Let's wash them one last time. And basically that's it. We little effort we have them clean and ready for cooking. If you don't have baking soda you can use some lemon juice, some acidic uh, substance like vinegar or maybe even salt but I recommend to do it with baking soda which is the most effective method. If you haven't already please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.